Evasion workers are staging a peaceful protest nationwide over the planned concession of Nigeria's most viable airports. They fear that their interests and that of other citizens are not being protected under the ongoing concession arrangement. The four most viable airports the federal government plans to concession are those in Lagos, Abuja, Kano and Portacot River State. They also kick against alleged moves to force them to migrate to Pencom. We say no to concession. No. No to concession. Fan want to carry the pensioner to Pencom. This will not happen. We don't want it. It's a suicide squad. We want to kill our people. Yes, we won't agree. This concession has been going on for decades. Yes. And this government will sit down at their comfort zone and plan your future. It can never and it will never happen. Any attempt to concession our national patrimony will be met with strict resistance. We will not allow our commonwealth to be sold into the hands of a few greedy individuals of our nation. During the workers under the ages of the Aviation Workers Unions protested around the Ilori International Airport to agitate for their demands. The union leaders say the concession of the airports will mean handing the nation's entry points and security to foreigners. To the nation, you are now concessioning that your, your, your the, 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 the toll gate of your nation. What does that mean? Security threat. That means you no longer have power. You no longer have influence on your security. Because they will bring their security. Give them the vigilant. Let them develop it. Are we together? Let them develop it and operate for a period of time or year and transfer back to the owner. But they are saying the existing terminal building that was built on law, Chinese law, for that matter. Abuja, uh, Lagos, and uh, Kano, and Port Harcourt. You want to concession those ones where the resources come. And you said, fan remains. Please, gentlemen, where is the transparency? When the private hands has taken over the airports that generate money that used to pay the whole airport, it's now in the hand of private. How many concession stories have succeeded in Nigeria? You want to tell me about Ascon? In Ikoti Basi? You want to tell me about Nepa? Office of PSCN? You want to tell me about Nigeria Airways? Or you want to talk about uh, NACO in Lagos? Or, or NITEL, how many concessions have worked? No concession has worked in Nigeria. The procession was held by members of the National Union of Air Transport Employees, Association of, of Aviation Professional and Air Transport Service Senior Staff Association at the Malam Aminu International Airport, Kano. The aviation staff also protested against the movement of, to a contributive pension scheme by the government. They have vowed to continue the protest until their demands are looked into. Now let's get a clearer picture of the protest. Correspondent Joke Adisa joins me now from Abuja. Joke, some days ago we had um, the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, say that, look, they're looking to concession some of the nation's airports. He said that they are not an outright sale, but just a concession. And so why this protest and what are the concerns of these aviation workers? Well, the major concern for the aviation workers is the fear of job loss. As they said from the information they have gathered, uh, the government, by that arrangement, uh, did not factor uh, their interest and the interest of Nigerians generally, but particularly when they look at uh, past experiences, uh, they cited a number of government uh, agencies that have been uh, privatized and, and at the end, uh, the workers there suffered. So they are afraid that uh, the, 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 most of them will lose uh, their jobs. And even apart from that, they, they, they also spoke about the country Nigeria itself. They believe uh, the airport is Nigeria's, uh, is Nigeria's own. And so by the time you concession it, and the fear also is that those that are behind it may also give it to their cronies. So those are the fears they have expressed, and they have also resolved to continue with this protest. And the good thing uh, for them is that they, 
NLC and TUC are also with them on this, and so they have vowed to continue with this protest, and that by the time government shows the determination to go ahead, they will ensure that the grand activities in the sector, and so they are, they, they are, they are vowed to, to, uh, to resist it with whatever means they can, they can, they can, they can use, and so we, are, we look to see how this develops, but the workers are, are determined, they are resolved to ensure that the planned concession does not succeed. So any response yet from the federal government, especially the Ministry of Aviation? Well, as of today, there is none, but uh, the Minister of Aviation, uh, Adi Sirica, did say the last time that there is no going back on that uh, effort uh, because the government believes it's, it, it will, it will, that contrary to the fears of the workers, it will create more jobs, it will make the airport self-sustaining, they will be able to sustain themselves, and they, it will also create jobs, develop their uh, the surrounding communities and all that, but the workers do not seem uh, to buy that, that idea, and so they have resolved to continue with the process. But government says it is not going back. So we we'll see how all this play out, uh, knowing fully well that the workers will not beat a, a retreat, and the government has also said it will go ahead uh, with its plan to concession these four uh, viable airports. Absolutely, Joker. We'll continue to monitor all these developments. Thanks for the update.